Farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. As you guys know, the double XP week has finally started in the game. So in this video, I'm going to be sending a bunch of trucks to make some XP because who doesn't love to get some extra XP? So let's get right into the game and start playing this event. I'm really excited. Let's go. I'm finally in the game and today is the first day of double XP week. Uh, that means we're having this truck delivery bonus event. All the truck orders that I'm going to do during this event will give me double XP and it's for another almost two days. So I'm going to make sure that I send a lot of trucks. Now I do have a lot of items stored in my barn if you have a look. I made a lot of products and I didn't play my game for the past few days and that's the reason I have a lot of them. So I'm going to get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to activate the XP booster. I activated actually during the town event because I think that's more effective in my opinion for me. But I'm going to do it for the truck too because I'm planning to send a lot of trucks. So yeah, this one is good actually. Um, I'm just going to activate it for another six hours. This will be good. So there we go. Let's just uh, start by harvesting the crops. I've got some um, corn and soybeans. There we go. And everything that you do during the XP booster will give you more XP, which is good. So that's what I was planning to do. And let's see what we can play right now. I think I'm just going to go with some sugar cans over here and probably... Okay, I'm good on the carrots. I'm going to have a look at the crops over here. Yeah, I'm just going to go with some uh, white lilies. Um, okay, that's it with the crops, and let me just start setting some trucks. So here's my truck board. You guys can see all are check marked. That means I can currently send all of them. So I'm going to start with the one that's giving me the most XP, which is probably this one, uh, 3,526. So this is going to be really exciting. Hopefully I'll be able to make a lot of XP. Um, not in this video, but during the two days Actually, the whole week is going to be XP events. The next one is going to be the board event, and then we're going to have the town event. So, um, but I just prefer the truck ones better than the boat ones. I know a lot of people do boats, but the problem with the boats is that you have to spend a lot of diamonds if you actually want to make XP, which I don't do. So, yes, we're just going to do some trucks. Okay, now the trucks should not be a problem for you, even if you're like a middle level player. Uh, the only challenge that really comes with the trucks is definitely... You have to keep a lot of items, a lot of products stored in your barn. And if you don't have a lot of them, this could be a bit challenging. Uh, but make sure you prepare for the event. I didn't know we were going to have the XP win. I was just speaking the products because, you know, that's what I always do. And then I heard the news. I was like, yay, I'm so happy. I do have the product. So I'm going to send a lot of trucks. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Let me just uh, send these visitors away. Also, XP is the only thing that I really focus a lot on. In the game these days, I don't really care about coins. I'm good on the vouchers. And yeah, so I just try to level up as much as I can, as fast as I can. So yes, let's do another one. Um, okay, and what else can I do over here? Maybe I'm just going to start collecting the products because I do have the um, booster activated. So I'm going to get more XP. You can see that I filled all the slots of my machines overnight and now I have a lot of products to collect. Another tip here is that try to open all the slots of your machines as soon as you can because that's going to help you a lot, especially when it comes to making the products and when you become a high level player, you're going to need more products if you are planning to do events, derby tasks, um, and it just helps a lot in general. So make sure that you open your slots. Um, all my slots are opened. They are going to cost you diamonds. If you don't purchase diamonds, that's completely fine. You don't have to rush. Um, but just focus on the machines that are most important, like dairy, sugar mill, sauce maker. These machines are the most important ones to first open their slots. So, yeah, that's what you have to do. I'm so happy that I can actually do all of them right now. So, yeah, let's see how many trucks can I send. The maximum trucks that I send in a day is 158, and I think this was a long, long time ago. This was like in 2017, when I used to be really crazy uh, with the XP wins, because back in those days, XP wins used to come after a really long time. I think now they do come a lot, but when we didn't used to have the calendar for the XP wins, we only used to have one event starting from Friday till Tuesday, so I used to send a lot of trucks. And I was a low-level player and I just love doing that, but now I don't really do a lot because, in my opinion, at higher levels, it's really hard to level up as compared to a mid-level or a lower level when you do these events because right now I need 1.9 million XP. 
And I'm still almost 1.6 million far away, which is going to be impossible just by doing these trucks. I wouldn't be able to do that unless I have a lot of items and I have a huge barn, which I unfortunately don't. So yeah, a lot of things matter here. And I just got a bunch of planks, which is really good because plank is my um, a rare tool, so I do need a lot of them. All right, so I'm just going to collect some dairy products over here and I will make more butter. Perfect. Let's come over here and do some cakes. Um, okay. So the main goal should be to get as much XP as possible. That's what I really focus on. It doesn't matter that I'm only getting it from the trucks. It's from the machines, from my pets, from my animals. Um, but I do get a lot of XP from the town. So town is my favorite place. But yeah, you guys can see how much XP I'm making. It's really good. Some of the products give you like over 100 XP. And when you have the XP booster, that's like 200, which is awesome. Love that. So going to trash that one. Now, you also don't have to do all the trucks. You can trash the ones that are difficult. For example, I'm getting 23 iron bars, and there's no way I'm going to do it. Even if I had them, I was not going to do it because that's a lot. And I'd better save them to make the jewelry over here, you know? Yeah, I'll make these items rather than just sending the trucks. So here comes another one. We're going to do that. And... All right, another thing you can do, you can actually ask for help on your trucks, but I personally don't do that because there's no use of asking for help on the trucks unless you're doing a derby task or you're doing the trucks for the valley points because you're not going to get the coins and XP, so there's like legit no point in asking for help. I mean, if it's really a difficult one, like you can't actually do that, you can ask for help, but I usually trash them. Uh, but yeah, here are some of the possibilities you can use your truck help. I collected a lot of my products, and I'm just going to do some bars. Okay, let's do this, and we're going to come back to the trucks. Let's do this one. I still remember the days when I used to be obsessed with the XP events back in 2016. I love them. I still love them, actually, but um, during those days, as I said, we only used to have one event for four days. For four days. That was like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. That's like five days, I'm sorry, actually five days, just one event. And that used to be perfect. So many people used to level up fast. And yeah, we didn't really used to have an XP week. Uh, yeah, that started in 2017, I guess. But it doesn't matter. It's still the same event. You get the XP. Um, I just leveled up right now. But back then I was at lower levels. So as I said, it's easier to level up on lower levels as compared to high levels because you need a lot of XP. And... And I mean, you don't have a lot of food on lower levels, but that isn't really a problem. You can still level up fast because the challenge is only getting more XP. And I'm not even a very crazy player when it comes to sending trucks or doing boats. I just play normally. I make the products as much as I can. I don't trade them. I don't purchase food like a lot of people do with real money, which is maybe it's fine for them. And yeah, you just have to do whatever you can. You just have to enjoy the game. That's what I do. So there's some things that I can do. There's some things that I can't do. Uh, there's no pressure on me. There's not a problem. It's just that those might not be good for me at a certain level. Uh, okay, so there's still a lot of trunks that I'm going to do. Look at this one. Now, some items do give you a lot of XP. Like the jelly beans, the candy ones, they give you a crazy amount of XP. It's like 4,000, sometimes even over 10,000, which is pretty awesome, I think. Uh, yeah, you can see Lollipop again, and I'm getting lore coins, but more XP. So I love these kind of trucks. And make sure you do have a lot of the honey peanuts. Let me just show you guys where the honey peanuts over here. Yeah, make sure you have a lot of honey peanuts. The reason is that the honey peanuts give you a lot of XP. It doesn't give you a lot of coins. So if you're looking for coins in the trucks, that's not going to be happening. What you need to do is to have a lot of honey peanuts. And when there's a truck order asking for honey peanuts, that can give you over 10,000 XP. And even more, like, it just depends on the amount of honey peanuts that the truck is asking. If it's like 20 honey peanuts, it might be giving you like 20,000 XP. That's what I've seen from other people. And I've done a few trucks that ask for honey peanuts and the sesame brittle i think so basically all the candies in the game give you a lot of xp so yeah there's some products to give you more xp but less coins and there's some products to give you more coins but less xp all right so i'm gonna do this one you can see i'm getting more xp but lower coins and coins for me not a problem my only focus is just the xp so i think i've made over 50,000 xp already there's just been a few minutes i guess since i've been playing this event and i'm definitely going to be keep playing this for as long as I can, and there's still two days, I'm gonna make more food, and 
yeah, I'm just going to keep sending trucks. I do have the X-Wing booster activated, which is going to help me a bit more. So I think I'm just going to end the video here. That was all about this video. You're having the XP wing in the game. That means during this whole week, there's going to be XP events, truck events, boat events, and the town events. So if you're struggling to level up or you wanted to level up for a long time, now is a perfect opportunity for you. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what's your goal for this week. How many levels are you focusing on or you're trying to rush? Subscribe to the channel for more handy content and videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.